Hello everybody, I am Brave 19 and welcome to episode 3 of our British cam World Domination Campaign in Empire Total War. So we're taking over the Leeward Islands from the s pirates today. So I'm going to go ahead and assault. We have 984 troops. It's just better if I go ahead and grab this now. The faster I can grab this island, the better things will be. Could give me some nice little bits of income. Not a lot, though. It's not really meant for income. It's more to get the pirates out of the way. Alright, set these guys up here. Actually... In the turn, let's start marching. Let's let the fast forward go on just so we can see what they plan on doing. I probably didn't need to go running into that. Oh, but they look like they might come into our our range now, or maybe they're reassessing. I don't know, let's let them get into position. Uh, will he make it in? Oh, we got some shots off on him. Now we'll let our guys just sit back, take the casualties that we're going to take. There they are, broken. Took nine casualties. And run two. Now we can take our shots across the whole line. Probably gonna advance with these three or four across to here. Leave the rest of these guys anchored in. Oh, there he goes, broken. Yeah, take as many shots as you can. Yep, he looks like he's about to walk off. Yep, there he is, broken. Good. There they all are, broken. Good news across, let everybody reload. The more times they break and come back, the more chances for experience I get. He's still down to 31, though. We got plenty more for him to come up against. Okay, they're all kind of congregating here in the middle. Shattered, broken. This guy is long gone. Let's go and bring these guys up to here. Go ahead and run forward. That's why one of these guys anchored. There we go, kill their general, who must have been in this group. This guy's already wavering, because I guess we're just attacking him from the flank.
and a 94. Won't let those guys get flanked. These guys are getting eaten alive. He's actually ranked up now. My generals charge the field. And these guys are now in open. Yep, in the battle. Good job. Sound the call to battle. Get rid of that. Let's do that there. Good. Let's go ahead and start building up our. Uh, Get rid of that. There you go. Okay, good times. Still trying to recruit our large army there. Yeah, okay. You know, I've got plenty of trade ports. I'm going to build another one there anyway. Um, the pirates only have one more base here. What I'd really like to do Yeah, I'd really like to do I'd like to go ahead and build up an army here About 20 units Problem is I need to let my new, my new world army do as much as it can Okay, in the turn. I mean, we can lose some stuff in the uh, New World, you know, if it's not directly ours, as long as we're still making good money. And each turn that gets better and better. It is just a bummer that I'm fighting against the French and having, you know, the other. I guess the other way though, I would have to just fight the rebels. So, eh. rebels, French doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna have to do either one. Just helps to knock out the French so they can't take over anything else. Rebels aren't gonna go attack you um, in nearby provinces. They'll just kind of stay put where they are. All right, how are we looking here? There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Guadalupe. A fishing port will help your population grow. Excuse me, Guadalupe. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. I'm going to do that right there as well, just so I can go ahead and say I took care of everything. Uh, this guy, I can't do anything with him yet, so I'll be waiting until all that gets done. Making 4871, so go ahead and do that as well. Yeah, I can't do that because I need 2500. But apparently, do that church school.
I've got these guys getting ready so I can get the barracks. Yeah. How many men do I will I have over here? Three, one, two, three, four. I won't be able to leave this, I don't think. Oh yeah, definitely not going to be able to leave that. Now it would be something I wouldn't be against if... France went right on here. I mean, one turn gives me the footholds I'd need. Whoa, wait. Poland, Lithuania has already grabbed Hungary. Prussia's already grabbed Vienna, Austria. And this is all that's left of Austria. Two provinces. The Prussians might be a really valid threat in this one. There's a trade deal. I mean, the Mughal may not last long, but at least they're a trade deal, right? There go the Swedes, consolidating power in Scandinavia. So I want to keep the Mughal and the Maratha fighting each other for as long as I can. So that means a trade deal working it out, that's fine. Go ahead and take these guys off the island. Let's just kind of swing right here for a second. I could easily invade this island. Yep, easily invade this, take over the windward. That gives them one less port to work out of. I could come up here and work on these two. I know I probably don't, you know, it's not a big deal to work on the fur right now, but it's a big deal enough to me that I'll keep doing it. It's just extra money later on. And the turn. And besides, I need, I mean, that's something that's just going to add more and more trade value. 
Peace treaty, I have to give them Rupert's land. No thank you. <laughs> I don't want peace with you that bad. Okay. Yep, there's the Russians. Don't care what all goes out there. I really do need to probably look at trying to get that trade deal with the Russians. I have no in I have no reason to attack them right this second. Seeing the 13 colonies though trying to spread uh, Protestantism is a good thing. Trying to turn these heathen Indians over from animism. A gentleman in Scotland. He's a scholar, so he's working on Enlightenment text is more his player, but that's all. Aha. A place of learning and culture. There's three there, the military syllabus. Which then let me break down into drill school. Which I'll get here first. Your humble servant. Yes, they easily surrendered. Still only making 40-42. I shouldn't have any more army units being created either. Yeah, I don't. So looking at my plan, once I break these, this part here, this French guy on it here, I'll come back to Port Royal, collect all my troops, maybe even swing by Nassau, collect those, then work my way to here, assault Michigan, Algonquin, Cayuga, then go on for Montreal. New France, yeah, Acadia and Maine somehow, then Newfoundland being the last one. Hopefully by then I'll have been able to create my huge army, but I don't know about that yet. I'd love to go to war against the uh, Cherokee on the way. Who are friends with the Cherokee? They're at war with Spain, Pueblo, and the Pirates. Trade partners with Louisiana, Iroquois, and the 13 colonies. I mean, I could probably lay right off the coast. Assault Georgia first. And then quickly run through here on my way up. And that's very important territory to, get, uh, to grab. Who are the Pueblo at war with? Cherokee and the Pirates. I mean, they'd be a great one to grab, too. Because I am going to have to go after all these Indians. Okay, I think that's... I think they're fine. Um, one out there. We have no more money, so let's just go ahead and let it go. Or we have 502 left. That's not enough to really... You know, call for anything. Okay, well, Poland did quite a bit there, but I don't know what all they actually took over. Good job, Sweden.
since Georgia seems to be a target, I'm going to go ahead and move that that uh, missionary down. Roth is up to, or Mughal is up to something. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. I mean, that gives me a little bit of money. So let's me keep on marching. Forwards for crown and country. Troops, forward. Prepare for battle. Time to call to battle. What? Let's seize them for a second. Um. Yeah, no, I don't need to do anything with that. What is this army? Colonial dragoons sounds like a great thing to keep. So would be my pikemen. Or no, I need to get rid of the pikemen. These other three are fine. So I really need. I will need those colonial dragoons. What is that army at right now? Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is that right? Fifteen. Yeah, the sixteenth there. Two dragoons. Actually, I can get rid of you and two cannon. Research. Go ahead and get canister shot. So I can go ahead and get the artillery. A new port emerged in Liverpool. There's right there, there's nothing I can do for it. I believe, yeah, I did put a settlement fortification. Yeah, these two things cost too much for me. But it's going to take me two turns to get that. So it'll be enough time for me to grab this, grab that, and then get back up to here before they're done. Oh yeah, that's gonna save me a little bit of money too in the meantime. Then like I said, swing through here. Come right here. Attack Savannah. And then work my way up to the Iroquois. And then the French up here as well. But uh, I am over time, so I'm going to end it right here. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Check the link for Discord in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time as we take Trinidad and Tobago.